Namaste. Satnam. Good morning. Namaste. Roll out your mat and get a folded blanket and a bolster and uh, take a seat. Sit up straight and gracefully. Close your eyes, put your hands on your knees or your thighs. And take a couple deep breaths, deep and slow. Inhaling, growing, exhaling, relaxing. And then slowly bring your hands together, the heart center. Inhale and exhale for three arms. And inhale. Om. Om. Keep listening to yourself. Put your hands back onto your thighs. And start with a little 16 second meditation. We do several rounds of it. You start inhaling through the nose to the count of four. You hold it to a count of four. You exhale to the count of four and you hold your breath again to the count of four. That's one round. You can begin now. The holding of the breath should be really soft and gentle. It shouldn't be strenuous on you. Stay to the count of four. If you have practiced more, you can count to six with no stress on yourself. Stay centered, stay in the now and count. To the next exhale, let go of the control of the breath and just listen to your very natural breath. And you can use this 16 second meditation every day during the day. one round or two, three rounds to get yourself back into the now, back within in the inner space.
Take one deep breath now. And come to standing. Stretch out a little bit and slowly come up. Roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Close your eyes and roll. And then the other side. Just a little warm up for the shoulders. Then open your legs, hip width apart. And start twisting. Getting the spine warm and energized. Your eyes closed. And come back to the middle. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And then lift your arms up parallel to the ground and go left and right. The arms are straight and the eyes are open. You're moving like a whip, up, down, up, down. The sides of your body are getting warmed up. And come back to the middle, your arms parallel to the floor, and then turn again. Again a twist with the arms up this time. Eyes open or closed, you can choose, but make sure your head is turning as well. You're stable, very grounded with the feet and everything else is turning. And then inhale up and stretch up. And then go down, let yourself hang, move your head a little bit if you like. The knees can slightly be bent. Inhale up again, look up, and exhale down again. Inhale up, stretch, and exhale down. Inhale up. As you exhale, pull your belly in and also your perineum. Make sure you integrate it so you protect your lower spine. Keep on going, deep inhale, exhale, in, exhale, then lift up and exhale, lower your arms, interlace your fingers in the back, straighten your arms as much as you can and inhale up. Exhale, relax. And next inhale, and on the exhale, you lower down. And come up again, and you lower down. And you're still warming up, so be careful not to pull too far above your head with your arms. Again here, when you lower down, integrate your navel and inhale up, stretch up, bring your hands together in prayer position. Inhale, exhale 
and go within. Inhale up, look up, stretch up and lower down. Bring your fingertips on the ground and look forward, straight spine. Then step back with your right leg, your left leg. Go into plank pose. Hold it here for a couple of deep breaths. Then put your knees down, your chest down, chin down, and slowly move towards the small cobra. Also become aware of the movement of the asana. Inhale, come back into downward facing dog. Maybe you need a little bit of movement here, right leg, left leg, bend it, stretch it if you like. Find your dog today. Couple deep, long breath. Then lift your right leg up and make a big step forward. Left knee on the ground, inhale up, stretch, look up and then step back. And lower down just for a moment. Come back up and then left leg forward. Lift up, inhaling, stretch the other knee on the ground. And step back into blank pose. Knees, chest, chin. Go into the small cobra. Shoulders away from the ears. Lift your chest bone up. And come back on the inhale to downward facing dog. Little movement. Check what you need there. And lift your right leg up. Big step forward. Left leg follows. And inhale up. Straight spine. And exhale. Relax. And inhale up. Stretch. And bring your hands in prayer position. Inhale up. And exhale down again. Inhale straight spine. Exhale, step back. Come into plank pose. Go down and come up in a small cobra. As you exhale, you come into downward facing dog. Right leg up, as you inhale, step forward, inhale up, exhale down, step back. Knees, chest, chin, move through into cobra and downward facing dog. Left leg up, step forward, inhale, lift up, look up and go back down. Plank pose, knees, chest, chin, move up again and back into downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths and walk towards your hands. Bend your knees and give yourself a big hug, grabbing your elbows or your wrists or something in between. As you exhale, try to stretch your legs out a little bit more and deep breath. Slowly let go, inhale up. Stay in Tadasana for a moment and slowly come up, arms down to your back, interlace your fingers and slowly move towards the front again. Stretch your left leg and bend your right leg and vice versa. And your arms go towards the side of your bent leg 
and your head turns towards the leg that is straight. In the middle, stay there. And bend your legs a little bit. As you exhale, stretch your arms a little further over the head. And straighten the legs. Hold it there for a moment. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale and release. Inhale and bring your hands into prayer position. And stay there. I just turn around so you can see me. Solid left foot. Lift your right leg up. Interlace your fingers below the knee and flex your foot and then turn to the side. Look all the way back if it's possible for you. And then come back to the middle. Lift up one more time. Put your hands in the hips. Straighten your leg and come back. Lower your arms. Put your hands in your hips, concentrate on the right foot, grab your left knee, flex the left foot, and then slowly turn. First the arm, then look to the side, and if you're stable, then turn all the way to the back. Breathe, stay straight, And slowly come back. Lift up one more time as you inhale. Then put your hands in the hips. Straighten out the leg and lower down. Open your legs far apart. And lower down. Hang for a moment. And slowly walk your hands forward. You won't see my hands now. And then do like a downward dog, just with your legs open. Inhale forward, exhale back. All the way back. And then slowly go back again. And grab your feet or your ankle. Thumbs with your index finger and then work your way down. In the exhale, you're lowering. Inhale, open up. You feel the space developing and as you exhale, you pull down. And slowly come up with a straight back. Inhale up. And jump your feet together, hands in prayer position. Couple deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Your right arm underneath your left arm. I turn so you can see better. Then you go down, you shake it down out of the hips. You lift your right leg up and over the left thigh. And then you stand there, you focus, you lift up from your chest. And if you're ready, you can stick your foot behind the calf. Stay there. And then inhale up again, stretch your leg out and lower the arms again as you exhale. Now the left under the right, Palms of your hands together, you shake it down again, and then you lift. Try to stay down low. Stay there for a moment now and see where you're at today. Your arms down, and then stick the foot behind the calf. Stay there, a couple deep breaths. Concentrate, meditate. 
Slowly come up, put your hands into your hips, straight leg and lower down. As you exhale, relax. Just feel. Inhale up. And your hands in prayer position. Inhale up again. And exhale down. Fingertips on the mat. Look forward, straight spine, and then shake your head. Step back. Come into plank pose and lower down to your way of Chaturanga or the easier way. Look up for the Cobra Upward Facing Dog and go into Downward Facing Dog. Bend your legs a little bit, right leg straight, left leg bend and vice versa. Just move a little bit and enjoy also your head if you like and then straighten your legs again breathe a couple times and then go into child's pose your arms back the knees are far apart so your belly can relax and stay there long deep breathing what a wonderful way to go into the yin. Then slowly come out, lie on your belly, straighten your feet, put your blanket, polster, whatever you have around you a little bit away so that you have enough space. Stretch your arms out, put the palms of your hands on the floor and stay there for a moment, looking inside. Then come on the lower arms, right angle on the arms, and then start turning, a little twist here. Try to see your feet, try to see your calves, and then straighten the arms if it's possible for you. That would be the more advanced version. Otherwise, stay down. And inhale as you come to the middle, exhale as you come to the side. Make sure your shoulders are away from the ears. Then you look up, the hands come a little bit closer to the body. And then again, Stretch up and do the fire breath. Inhale as strong as you exhale through the nose and your belly moves in naturally as you exhale. Find your rhythm. Maybe you want to do it a little bit slower for the beginning. And then inhale, hold it. And exhale, lower down. Make a little pillow with your hands. Bend your legs a little bit if you need to. Maybe you want to move your lower back a little bit. And then inhale your bottom up and let it fall down. Suck it up and let it fall down. Relax for a moment. Then straighten the arms again in front of you. Hand shoulder width apart. Lift your arms and your legs up, feet together. We're strengthening the spine. You open your arms to the back and you close them again to the front. Opening your heart as you inhale, closing a bit as you exhale. Wonderful movement for your back. Stay there and lower down again, forehead on your little pillow, your hands. Relax. And then 
come up into child's pose again, your arms forward, your head on the mat, couple deep breath here. And then come back onto the belly and slowly grab your ankles from the outside, thumbs with the index finger, knees as far as possible together. Take a deep breath and slowly start lifting your chest and then your legs lift up and stay there for a moment. And maybe you wanna move your feet a little bit, pointing and flexing, and then come up a little more. And lower down and relax again. Maybe you wanna move your bottom a little bit, the lower back, whipping back and forth. Hands underneath the shoulders, come up, stretch out a little bit, and then lie down on the back. Then lift your legs up and grab your feet or your ankles, depending on your flexibility from the outside. The most important thing is that your lower back is on the ground, so you could even grab your calves if you're a little bit inflexible maybe. And if you like, you can turn from side to side, always stretching one leg out and one leg is bent which you pull a little bit more towards the body. It's a wonderful little rolling around down there. Then put your feet together, hands on top of each other, and stay there for a moment. And then inhale, lift your head up, and as you exhale, you pull your toes towards your forehead. And then go down again, inhale. As you exhale, pull forehead and toes together. They touch each other in the long run. A couple times, come up, go back down. And then relax again. Then straighten your legs and shake them a little bit. Point your toes and then flex your feet again. And then put your hands underneath your lower back and then open and crisscross your legs. Yeah, you can go even a little faster if you feel like it. Wonderful work for the inner thighs, for the whole hip area as well. And for the lower belly even. And then come back together with your legs, lower the right, lower the left. Take your hands out and relax. Then bend your legs, feet on the ground, closer to the bottom. Then lift your legs up, your arms on the ground about shoulder height. And then start doing a little twist here. The head turns on one side, the knees turn to the other side. Try to keep your shoulders on the mat as good as you can. 
It's also wonderful again for the belly, for the sides of the belly, also for the back. And then come back, straighten your legs. And just feel the warmth in the middle, in your hara, the strength developing. And put your feet on the mat, lift up, put your hands underneath your lower back and start with leg raising asana. Legs down, legs up. Make sure your lower back stays on the ground Push your navel into the mat and keep on going. Legs as straight as you can and lengthen the neck by lowering the chin a little bit towards the chest. Enjoy the strengthening of your belly and then Hug yourself, grab your wrists, and as you inhale, you lift your head up. You can even grab your elbows, and you hold it there, really rounding into yourself. And slowly lower down again, straighten your legs, and enjoy the yin after the yang. Put your feet up again and grab your legs in the back of your knees and start rolling. Just really fun, your head comes to the mat and your feet touch the mat. Rolling back and forth and then come up and hug yourself And then make yourself comfortable, take a blanket for Shavasana. Open your legs, your arms as soon as you're covered and comfy. Make sure the blanket is not too tight around your feet so that you can really relax. I also like to put a piece of fabric or eye pillow over my eyes. And then just, just go within. Feel the ground. Feel how Mother Earth carries you. And feel how your breath flows in waves. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. You're safe right there.
slowly come back. Take a deep breath. And start moving your feet, your hands. Maybe you want to turn your head a little bit from side to side. Then put your arms out and inhale and stretch your arms. Stretch yourself all the way. And then slowly turn to the side for embryo pose. Cuddle with yourself and thank yourself for the practice, for the concentration, the meditation during your practice. And slowly come up with your eyes closed still if possible. Come to sit gracefully all the way connected with yourself and the earth, your breath and everybody around you. We all connected. We finish our yoga practice with three times Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Put your hands together, inhale and exhale. And inhale for Om. May we and all beings live happily, healthy, in peace, in safety and consciousness. Namaste.